Once you've finished work on your site, you'll want to publish it to everyone at college. But before you do so, I'd recommend just previewing your site first. So previewing your site is really easy. Just click on the preview icon on the top bar. And this will, by default, show you what your site looks like on a large screen desktop device. But Google Sites uses something called a responsive design. So what that means is the site will automatically scale and resize based on the type of device uh, the user is working on. So if you want to see what your site looks like on a tablet device, just select the tablet icon. You can see it's resized the images and shrinked the columns. Let's have a look at a phone device. And again, the menu has changed now to be a more suitable menu for a phone. And everything's been resized to fit a phone screen. Okay, so once you're happy with that, exit preview. And to publish a site, we simply pressed publish. Give the site an address, which must be unique. And press publish. The next step after publishing your site is to share it with other staff and students inside of college. Uh, there's a few ways of achieving this. You could either take the site address and simply send it in an email or add it to your Google Classroom. But the way I recommend is to inform the IT help desk of your new site and we can add it to the courses page on my button. The courses page on my button contains links to subject Google Sites to make it easy for students to locate resources. After publishing, you will see an arrow to the right of a blue publish button with three options. Publish settings, this option allows you to modify the address of your site. I wouldn't recommend modifying your address after it's published, otherwise you'll need to tell everyone what the new address is. View publish sites, this allows you to view your website. Or unpublish, this menu option will unpublish your website and remove it from the internet. It's important to understand that your website does not need to be unpublished while you're editing it. So if I move this maps box over to the left, nobody will be able to see these changes until after I hit the publish button. And after you hit the publish button, it only takes three or four seconds to publish any changes you've made to the live website. You can then go back and make as many changes as you want for as long as you want, and your students will not be able to see those changes until you again hit the blue publish button. I hope you found this series of Google Sites training videos useful. If you've got any questions, then please feel free to talk to anyone in the IT services or library teams. Thank you.